Yo guys, what is going on? It's the True Chat back again with a brand new match watch along on this channel and Swan City away to Brentford and Skybet Championship. I didn't do a preview because I'm struggling on views at the moment. So yeah, I'm likely to be stopping previews now. Anyway, Brentford's gonna be a tough game. Brentford they won 3 0 away to Luton in the last game. Ivan Tony's a main player to watch. Brian and Buemo as well is still there. They're both starting tonight. And last time we played Brentford, it was a playoff semi final second leg. We lost 3 1. First leg, we won 1 0, and Brentford turned around to win 3 2 on aggregate. So, um, yeah, Ben Rama and Watkins are not in the Brentford squad anymore. Ben Rama's on loan at West Ham. Watkins has gone to Aston Villa. So, yeah, Brentford, they they done well last game. Obviously, like I said, they won 3 0, and we're going to be. On three wins on a bounce. So yeah, we've won our last two games and hopefully we can get a third win and hopefully we get revenge tonight. I mean, I'm quite confident tonight and I'm going to go with a 2 on Swansea. I reckon Ivan Tony will score for Brentford and I reckon for Swansea. I reckon Dando will get a goal and the other one I'm going to go with probably Andre Ayew. Come on, you Swans. Right, the two teams are out now and we've made one change to start 11. Ryan Bennett did come in for Carl Norton originally, but Ben Cabango had an injury in training. So Carl Norton is in instead of Ben Cabango. And also Joel Latabordia, the new centre-back from Man City we signed, is on the bench instead. So Latabordia could potentially make his debut in the second half. And we're underway. Come on, Swans, let's get the revenge from Brentford. Brentford got an early free kick here. Brian and Buemo to have a go at it, I think. Brian and Buemo, he likes to score against us as well. Right, free kick now. It's in Buemo, straight to the wall. And it's going for Brentford corner. Delivered in by in Buemo, and it's over the bar. Right, we've got a corner here. Corey Smith just had an effort save from David Raya. Yeah, it, was, it could have been a good goal volleyed, but it was hen top bins. David Raya had a hand to it, and the corner set to be delivered in by Connor Roberts. Connor, same against Blackburn now on Halloween. Scoring from a corner. It'd be not nice if we have a repeat of that, but unfortunately we don't have Ben Cabango. Oh. We just had another massive chance to make it 1-0. Andre this time, yeah, he had an effort. Good ball in from Jake Bidwell. Andre goes on a little run. It looked like he was going to go side net. Well, I thought he was in for a split second, but David Wright got a hand to it and it's out for a corner. Right, corner to be delivered in by Jan Danda. Come on, let's make it count this time. Uh, 1-0 Brentford guys, Ivan Tony with a goal, Ivan Tony, his goal scoring form keeps coming. Yeah, it's been an open game so far, but Brentford have got their goal. Basically, we were caught out in the open play, and Buemo feeds it to Jensen, and Jensen gives it to Ivan Tony to make it 1-0 to Brentford. Half-time in the Brentford Community Stadium, Brentford 1, Swansea 0. We don't deserve to be 1-0 down in my opinion. Ivan Tony getting a goal for Brentford. Typically, it's their first real chance of the game. I thought the first half, of, I thought the first half of the game, we were pretty much the better team. It looked like an open game, but Brentford got their goal in the first half, and it's boosted them up a little bit. And I'm worried about the second half that they'll be um, the better team. But hopefully, now second half come back, we'll get their revenge. But at the moment, we're going to have to wait until um, whenever we're playing Brentford next at Liberty Stadium. Right, second half underway. Come on, Swans, let's come back. Right, we've got an early second half corner to be delivered in by Conor Roberts. Much better to when we played Brentford last time. We would be 3 0 down by this time now, which was, of course, a second leg of the Championship playoffs semi final. Come on, let's equalise. Oh. And halt. Now Roberts delivers. Go on. What? Oh. Right, we're making a double substitution here. Um, Jan Danda and Jay Fulton are coming off for Casey Palmer and Matt Grimes. So, um, yeah, hopefully now this makes a difference to the game and to turn it around. Brentford are making their first substitution of the game now. Um, Saman Godos is coming off for Sergi Canos, I think. Yeah, Sergi Canos. Right, Brentford and Swan City are making substitutions here. Um, Brentford are making their second sub. Emiliano Marcondes is coming off for um, Jaya, I think, and we're making a final substitution. Jamal Lowe is coming off for Victor Jokerez. Right, last 20 minutes of the game, still Brentford 1, Swansea nil. I think we've been pretty much the better team slightly second half. We've had more chances, I thought. We don't deserve to be losing, in my opinion, and we've got a corner. Come on, let's find that equaliser. I think we deserve to get an equaliser out of this game. Really don't deserve to be losing. Right. Conor Roberts whips in the corner. Come on, please. 
Oh my god. One. Yokerez. Oh my god. Why can't we take a chance? But I think we've got a corner. We've equalized. Andre, are you? Come on, we got what we deserved. 1-1. One, one. Come on. Let's go on and get the three points. Come on, boys. Right, five minutes added time. Can we get a late winner? Or can Brentford get a late winner? Or will will it be settled with a draw? Come on, hopefully we can get the late winner. Right, Brentford to goal corner here. Jensen to deliver it in. Come on, let's defend this corner now. Right, Jensen, you obviously got your sister to Ivan Tony. Yours, Woodman. Oh, sure, it's a goal kick, yeah. Right, we've got a late free kick here. Matt Grimes or Conrad swinging. Come on, this is surely the last kick of the game. Let's hope we can snatch the three points. But to be honest with you, I would happily take a draw against Brentford. Although we were the better side. Come on. Let's go. Right, who's still in? Roberts has got his hand up. Yes, Robert. Go on, are you? Yeah! 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 We won! Andre, are you? Last minute header! What? Are you kidding me, ref? Now that is late, late drama. Are you joking? Surround the referee. Referee, man! You can't do that! But Andre, are you? Or maybe somebody no. behind him was in an offside. You can't! Race. The bottom line is, this one doesn't count, Chris. I, yeah, I'd have to see when the ball... Oh, come on! Henry, though, makes a run just in front Oh, come on now! No! Oh, come on now! Oh, come on! Nah, that's surely onside! Got to be allowed! EFL refs, always the same! I'm fed up for them! We've been robbed! Anyway, guys, I would take a draw against Brentford, but we were robbed. We should have had the three points. We're Andre, was he offside or not? He did not look offside at all. But anyway, a point is better than nothing. We should have had the three points. I I thought he just blew the whistle when the blow when the ball was kicked in, but uh, we should have had the three points. But anyway, I'd happily take a draw against Brentford going into this game anyway. Tough game against Norwich on Saturday. And hopefully now we can get the three points. But EFL refs, I can't stand them. We how many times we were robbed at Aston Gate against Bristol City, soft penalty, never a penalty, and now a late disallowed goal which did not look offside at all. But anyway, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to on post notifications, and yet yeah, peace.